Uh, what's going on everybody? Steven here uh, from Dubsy Studios 25. I got Nolan with me today and got rid of the Scarlet W, gave it to Nolan. And uh, so we're going to be opening up the red Helium 8K today. So this is going to be pretty exciting. We're going to kind of do, I already opened most of this stuff, but it's kind of an unboxing and kind of a... Uh, from our experience using red for a year kind of why we bought everything and you know what we kind of think so yeah let's jump right into it so first thing starting off start small start expensive here so we've got the uh the sidewinder this is great get it um hands down 20 bucks whatever you need for on set this is this is good to go yeah. so get it i mean it's it, it's a multi-tool you know it right. is what it yeah. is it's great a very good multi -tool. very good one yes so Next, next most expensive thing. We've the mini got, handle. Got the three, the three finger handle. Um, this is this is great. I mean, you, we put the easy rig on this. Yeah. So yeah, the easy rig clips right on top. Yeah. So so this this fits perfectly for that, and um, you can you know it's it's great. It's you know it's just a top handle. You know whatever. It, it's perfect. So we keep it pretty light and small our rig. So. Um, it works out good for us. Next thing is the uh, the red station uh, for your mini mags, and with this guy, it's just a card reader. Basically, you can get this or that like G Technology one, mm -hmm. which I don't know why you'd get that one because it's more expensive. But you get um, your USB, and you get your what the heck is this? Another USB? Yeah, it's just. Your little USB. Is it a mini USB? Yeah, USB-C USB? or whatever. Yeah, that's what that is. So that's pretty good. Perfect. What more could you want? Good stuff. We got shit all over the place. Next we've got the uh, mini mag itself. This is the um, the 960 uh, gigabyte one. Get the red red mini mags don't get the black ones because this you can max out uh, your compression which is kind of ridiculous anyway you don't really need to but you're getting everything out of the camera that you could possibly get if you're getting the red uh, colored cards so go with that ah batteries so we went with the bricks you got we, the power pack right? we, yeah no i got the i got the six pack the six of bricks pack. and so Basically, I got the six pack of these because you basically get one and a half batteries for free. Is on the red monitor, you right. can actually oh, yeah. see the battery that's, level. That's Whereas if you're using the IDX or anything like that, all you have is that side monitor and it mm -hmm. gives you four bars and there is it no takes, warning whether or not you're running It out. takes one bar away just having the camera on right. so you never actually know how close you are to dying. Like mm -hmm. we had a shoot where we, we shot all day mm -hmm. for two days. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting there constantly like, dude, oh crap, should we rip the battery off? Should we do this? That's what you should have the expander for doing something like that. You, <laughs> If you're shooting all day, if you plan on shooting like studio setups all day, get an expander <laughs> so you can plug into the wall. Or get the V-lock plate that has the plug-in if you don't need HDMI. I don't even want to take this out, but this is the, uh, this is the uh, brick charger. You can, it actually does charge two batteries at once. Like you could charge on this and feed that power to something else oh, to yeah, charge as well. Oh yeah, you can use as this well. as a, basically a ballast or an adapter. Right, exactly. Yeah, you could you could plug in whatever you want mm -hmm. in in uh, in here. So, yeah, pretty cool uh, piece of gear there. Yeah. So this is the the V lock plate, and it just feels like super solid, super cool, like good stuff. Um, you can get a V-Lock Pro. The V-Lock Pro has a power adapter, mm -hmm. so you could, you know, not pay for the expander and still get wall power. For me, he's getting one for his camera, his Scarlett, now, and so we're gonna have an expander we'll have module on set anyway, so I didn't need to get one. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's great. And if you if you plan on doing like XLR, you can get the Teradek Omod 2 and you get two XLRs with that. Like that's twenty seven hundred dollars. Twenty seven hundred bucks, yeah. Instead of the Red Volt expander, which mm -hmm. was like four grand, so that can save you a bit of money if you want XLRs. Um, but really cool. Excited to uh, give this a try. Got the Canon mount. We shoot all Canon. K 
Canon glass, uh, Sigma art lenses, and uh, Canon L lenses. Um, so, yeah, um, solid. Really cool. I love how it's got the locking. Good stuff. Side handle. This thing's essential. This is like, of any of the red accessories, I think this... This might be the, the most important. This is the most important because this feels just like it completes the camera, you know, like the body should include this on there mm -hmm. almost. Like, this is the way to go. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. You've got customizable buttons here. Um, I always set up like a edge focus. Um, you can control your iris here on electronic lenses. And then you can control focus also here, which is really cool if you're uh, doing super run and gun. Definitely get one of those. Even if you don't like do handheld, still get one of them because it's just, it's feels like it should be part of the camera body. So the next thing we've got here is the seven inch monitor, which is, I had to wait an extra week for this thing. I was so annoyed because this has been on back order, but uh, oh, 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 oh so good. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the seven inch go with it. You can actually turn it unlike the four, five inch yeah. monitor, yeah. which is so dumb. Like that made me so mad. I went from using this on your Scarlet mm -hmm. and renting a Raven with the four and a half. Yeah. And it makes a world. Oh it, yeah. You, it's, it's incredible, especially if you know <laughs> how good this is yeah, yeah. and going back is going to be yeah. so much harder. And that, that was, I think that hurt me too. Cause I used the GH5 before I got the Scarlet and I had an Atomos Ninja Inferno on there amazing monitor right and uh going back to a small monitor that didn't have mm -hmm. the resolution didn't have all the features this thing you can tell what you're shooting the uh the brain here we go there we go comes in a case that's nice not a cardboard box like the other stuff and there we go here we have the Helium 8K brain. This was the, the weapon um, yep. before. So not the Epic W, this was the uh, the weapon. And the only difference was uh, 8K60, which is quite a difference actually. <laughs> but um, that's the difference. But that was the difference between the weapon and the, the Epic W. And now they simplified. So that's the uh, that's the Helium 8K. We're, we gotta put this thing together. We'll put it together, give you guys some uh, some product shots. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching the video. Um, enjoy the last few shots and uh, we'll see you guys later.